mention uh, Ms. Yasmina Nikic from Serbia. Uh, she will be presenting um, just uncoated with federal and binary oxide as a new generation solving for the removal of arsenic. Thank you very much for your introduction. Uh, first of all, I need to present myself since I'm not Yasmina yes, Nikic. <laughs> I'm Snežana Maletić, coming from the University of Novi Sad, uh, Faculty of Sciences, and on behalf of the first author, I will present this paper. Uh, Mr. Petrushevsky already said something about arsenic and its toxicity, so I won't uh, talk him about that. Uh, also, he, he mentioned that there is uh, two inorganic forms of arsenic, arsenic-5 and arsenic-3, which is typically simultaneously occur in groundwater, uh, where the arsenic-3 is prevalent species. Unfortunately, arsenic-3 is more toxic, more mobile, and more difficult to remove than arsenic-5. Uh, this is uh, most uh, because of its uh, uncharged form at most pH value, which we can find in neutral wa natural waters. Uh, absorption is regarded as the most promising technique of for arsenic removal, which we already seen uh, from the previous presentation, because of its high efficiency, simplicity, cost effectiveness. Uh, in most cases, absorption is effective only for arsenic 5, but not valid uh, uh, for arsenic 3, which, as I already said, uh, in neutral, natural pH range is in uncharged arsenic, acid form. Uh, and uh, in most cases, because of that, uh, pre-oxidation step is required uh, by additional chemical reagent or biological oxidation. Uh, in the recent uh, years, uh, novel absorbent, iron manganized binary oxide, was investigated. Uh, uh, it combined oxidation properties of manganese oxide and sorption potential of uh, iron oxides. Uh, its advantage is that uh, it has a um, nano structure, its powder, and it has high sorption capacity for both as arsenic 3 and arsenic 5. But uh, the main drawback for its application is that it cannot be used in fixed bed or other flow through system because of its uh, weak mechanical strength and uh, propensity to aggregate. Uh, in order to overcome this problem, uh, this uh, iron manganese binary oxide must be immobilized. Uh, and uh, for this purpose, uh, it can use different uh, polymer materials. Citizen is one of, of them and it's uh, inexpensive, biodegradable, a biocompatible polymer, uh, and therefore the objective of, the, of this uh, research uh, was to synthesize citizen coated with uh, iron manganese binary oxide and to evaluate its efficiency and absorption mechanism for arsenic 5 and arsenic 3 in synthetic water and to prove this on a real water groundwater ma matrix. Uh, absorbent was prepared by simultaneous process of uh, redox uh, reaction and, and co-precipitation. Uh, the obtained absorbent was characterized for specific surface area uh, by BET method. The micropore volume uh, using T-test method for mesopore volume using the solution method. Uh, its efficiency for arsenic removal was done in batch experiments, uh, which consist for uh, kinetic experiments, uh, where we keep uh, arsenic concentration constant, solvent dose, dose constant, at a neutral pH value, and change the contact time between the solvent and the arsenic. And uh, sorption isotherm was done by changing concentration of the in initial concentration of the arsenic and keeping the solvent dose uh, constant. And for uh, gro real groundwater matrix, uh, the solvent dose was changed uh, because concentration was uh, constant. Uh, here we present the solvent characteristics and uh, we give also the characteristic 
of pure uh, citosan, just to compare surface area. Uh, as you can see, specific surface area uh, of coated citosan was uh, four times higher, and also total pure, uh, pore, pore volume was about three times higher than for the pure citosan. Uh, according to the micropolity test, both materials uh, doesn't contain micropore, and according to average pore diameter size, we can say that uh, both, uh, both materials are mesoporous uh, materials. Uh, according to the absorption kinetic study, equilibrium is uh, reached after 18 hours for both arsenic 3 and arsenic 5, and because of that, uh, all other experiments, batch experiments were conducted for 24 hours to ensure that uh, equilibrium is reached. Uh, in order to, deter to determine uh, the rate limiting step for arsenic sorption, uh, for the kinet uh, obtained kinetic data, we applied several kinetic models. And if we compare so the first and so the second order kinetic models, uh, according to the correlation coefficient, uh, we can say that so the second order better described adsorption kinetics. Uh, and we can say that uh, sorption of, of arsenic-3 and arsenic-5 uh, on coated citizen uh, might be a chemist option. Since uh, these uh, two models cannot describe uh, other rate limiting step uh, such as uh, interparticle diffusion or mass transfer, we applied one more uh, kinetic models uh, for inter, inter, interparticle uh, diffusion, uh, which was based on Web Weber Morris theory. Uh, and on this graph are presented results of uh, this model. Uh, as we can see, uh, for both arsenic-3 and arsenic-5, plot doesn't go through the origin, indicated that uh, this is a, a, co complex, a complex sorption process. And also we can uh, see multilinearity, uh, we can uh, separate plots in uh, three linear parts. Uh, first linear portion of the, uh, of the plot is the uh, first stage of the sorption, is a uh, fast stage where the rate limiting step is actually transfer of arsenic from the bulk phase to the su surface of adsorbent. Uh, the second linear section was a moderate sorption process uh, and in this, in this second stage of the rate limiting step is intraparticle diffusion into the pore structure and the third linear section was a very slow sorption stage uh, relating to steric hindrance from the adsorbent molecules. Uh, obtained data for adsorption isotherms were modeled using uh, pre-adsorption uh, isotherm models from the flamer and Redick Peterson. Uh, all three models well described uh, adsorption process. However, uh, slightly better correlation coefficient uh, were obtained from, for front of his term. Uh, this can be due of heterogeneous surface uh, and also for arsenic, there is a, a chemical reaction, actually, a redox reaction um, for. Yeah, in taking uh, arsenic free by citizen iron manganese oxide. Uh, it is uh, uh, important to notice that uh, prime uh, capacity coefficient was similar for arsenic free and arsenic 5, but for the real groundwater matrix it was several times lower, uh, which can be due to other present constituents in the natural water, which needs to further be uh, investigated. Uh, according to Langmuir isotherms, uh, maximum absorption capacity was very similar for synthetic matrix and groundwater, also for arsenic-3 and arsenic-5. Uh, in order to better describe absorption, we applied one more uh, uh, model, Relic Peterson, as uh, I already said, which actually is a hybrid model which uh, 
combined linear and chronic is a 10. And if uh, in the model uh, coefficient alpha is equal to 1, then uh, this e equation actually becomes a linear isotherm. According to our results, this value goes from 0 0.03 to 0 0.4, uh, which means that arsenic absorption on, on citizen iron manganese surface is followed by a non-lethal, non-monolayer non absorption model. And for them to conclude, citizen coated with iron manganese binary oxide is a novel bio-based solvent. It was prepared by simultaneous redox and the co-precipitation method. The absorption of arsenic on citizen co coated with uh, iron and manganese is a complex process involving uh, surface absorption and interparticle diffusion, which all contribute to the rate of absorption. Arsenic absorption of the coated citizen is followed by a non ideal non monolayer absorption model. Uh, the applicability of this absorbent for the removal of arsenic uh, from real groundwater sample makes it, may, makes it uh, attractive for filter for arsenic removal, but to apply it on a, a bigger, bigger scale, further investigation must be carried out uh, in order to identify all interaction between arsenic and other water constituents. Thank you for your attention.